Hey guys, ETP Duelist here, and welcome to another one of my how to play videos. And today we're going to be talking about its sector. Now, recently, in sector has been topping a lot of regionals and YCSs. As a matter of fact, there's one in sector deck that came first, and I believe a regional undefeated, just completely undefeated. But you're probably asking, you know, why all of a sudden are insectors just exploding? Why are they just doing so well all of a sudden? Well, the truth is there's just no heavy storm anymore. And while it might seem like a bad thing, you'll be seeing a lot of this. And yeah, that's pretty bad for most decks. When you're against, whenever you play just pretty much any deck, except for maybe something like Heretic or... I, I really don't know what else. Um, they might be able to stop you, but a lot of times they're going to have a background that kind of looks more like this. And this is for, you know, pretty much any deck. Mermail's probably not going to have those morning chain, evac chain setup. It's probably going to have more of an Abyss Sphere, Abyss Sphere, Torrential Tribute, something along those lines. Now, Inzectors actually love fields like this. Here's how they work. First, both Inzectors can equip an Inzector from the hand or graveyard to itself as an equipped spell. So, if you have, let's say, another Insector Centipede in your hand, you can equip it to your Insector Centipede on the field. And there you go. Okay, well, there's actually way better things you could equip Insector Centipede with, but we'll go down over them. Now, we'll go over some lists of what Insectors do. What I'm not just going to throw them all at you all at once. This is going to be a pretty simple, flied learning process. So, first, we'll go over Insector Hornet. When he is equipped to an Insector monster, he'll increase that monster's level by 3. He can unequip himself from an equipped monster to destroy one card on the field. And if you really need to, you can use him, you can equip other Insectors to him if he's on the field, but only once per turn. In other words, you could equip Insector Centipede on your field with the Insector Hornet on your hand or graveyard. You could attach the Hornet and destroy a card your opponent controls for free. But you could destroy your own card with Hornet if you really needed to as well. So all of a sudden Hornet can go something like this, pop and then pop. I mean really Hornet's probably, you're probably going to go after two traps and spells but we're assuming here you kind of knew your opponent was playing Gear Gear. Now here's some, another Insector, this is Insector Ladybug. When she's equipped to a monster, that monster's level is increased by two. She can detach herself to increase a monster's level on your side of the field by one or two levels. And she can equip Insectors to herself if needed, once per turn. So why would you use Ladybug though? Other Insectors get their effects when cards get unequipped. Ladybug, for example, if she has a card, a spell card or trap card unequipped to her, pretty much just any card equipped to her gets unequipped. She'll special summon one Insector monster from your deck. She can equip an Insector from the hand or graveyard once per turn. If equipped to a monster, if she's equipped to a monster, she'll increase that monster's level by three. You'll never really use her effect to equip to another monster. She'll never really equip a monster with Dragonfly. Now here's some combos. You can use Dragonfly and equip a Hornet from your hand or graveyard, blow up an opponent's card, use Dragonfly's effect to special summon Centipede from the deck, use his effect to equip a Hornet or another Insector, blow up a card. You would just destroy two opponent's cards for free. But hold on, we could also use that Ladybug that we were talking about before. Increase Dragonfly's level by 2 by detaching Ladybug. Use the centipede we just searched in Special Summoned. We'll increase his level by 2. And all of a sudden we can exceed defensively for Tyrus. Or we can exceed offensively for something like Volcasaurus. This is Insector Gigamantis. He can't equip Insectors to himself and he won't give a level boost to equip monsters. Now, he, his special ability is he can equip himself to an Insector on the field if it's in your hand without using that Insector's effect. In other words, if you have Dragonfly on your field, you could equip Gigamantis to your Dragonfly if Gigamantis is in your hand. Then you could use Dragonfly's effect and equip a Hornet. If, Dra if Gigamantis is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you could special summon one Insector monster from your graveyard. So... 
And Sector Gigabantis won't work if your opponent does something like Dark Hole or Torrential Tribute. Your monster that's equipped with Gigamantis has to stay on the field when Gigamantis is sent to the graveyard, or Gigamantis won't work. And a monster equipped with Gigamantis has its original attack become 2400, which is pretty cool. Now, if he's in the graveyard, you could still use an Insector's equipping effect to equip it from the graveyard. In other words, if it's not in your hand, it's in your graveyard, and you have a Centipede, you could use that Centipede's effect and equip Gigamantis from the graveyard to the centipede. And here's one last card for the one turn kill. It's Zector Sword Zet Caliber. Now equipped cards at Yu-Gi-Oh are usually bad. A monster equipped with this card will get plus 800 attack. You're going to see why in a second this card is actually really good. When this card is sent for the field to the graveyard, you must select an Zector monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Okay, first off, this means this card can't miss timing. So if your opponent does some chains, or you do some chains, you're always going to have to equip... I'm sorry, you're always going to have to add an Insector from the graveyard to your hand. Unless they have a way of negating that effect, which they probably don't. And this card could be searched out by Insector Centipede. Oh, whoa, wait a second, I didn't really mention Centipede yet. You can equip an Insector from a hand or graveyard once per turn, just like the, most of the other ones. If this card if a card becomes unequipped to it, you can search one Insector card from your deck and add it to your hand. That means you can only you can search any Insector monster you want to, but you can search any Insector spell or trap you want to. And if he's equipped to a monster, that monster will have that its levels increased by three. So let's teach you the Oak DK. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need Dragonfly and Zect Caliber and Hornet in either your hand or graveyard. Normal summon Dragonfly. Now I really stress trying to use her effect to equip Hornet just right away because then you're not going to waste the sword if you get hit by an effect for later Fiendish Chain. So we'll equip Insector Hornet from her hand and we'll also equip Insector Sword Zet Caliber from her hand to Dragonfly. And we'll use Hornet's effect to blow up our own sword now, Dragonfly can only equip an Insector once per turn, but her effect to special summon when she loses a card equipped to her is limitless. It's not once per turn. We lost two equips. So we're going to special summon two Insector monsters instead of just one, because we lost two equips. In this case, we're going to special summon two Insector Centipedes. We'll use the first Centipede's effect, well, one effect, and we'll equip Hornet to him. We'll blow something up. We're going to assume it's in our, something on our opponent's side of the field. Like a spell or trap. Then we're going to use Centipede's effect to search for Gigamantis. And Gigamantis, again, it goes to our hand whenever we search with the Centipede. We'll overweigh for a rank 3 that can detach a material. Something like number 17 or Giga Brilliant. We'll detach Dragonfly to use its effect. It's important to detach Dragonfly. So he has 2,500 attack. That's not as important. Well, it is in this case. Now we'll activate Gigamantis from our hand that we searched with our centipede and equip it to this centipede. Now, our Insector Centipede hasn't used his effect yet. Gigamantis can, can equip itself to an Insector type monster from your hand using its own effect. It doesn't need the other Insector effect to do that. So we'll equip Hornet to our centipede. We'll destroy Gigamantis with Hornet. Okay, two things just happened here. The first thing is, we could search with our Insector Centipede. Like Dragonfly, he can only use, he can only equip an Insector to himself once per turn, but his search effect is limitless when he loses a card equipped to him. But we're only going to search one time this time. And Gigamantis got sent to the graveyard while it was equipped, and we're going to assume nothing happened with the Insector. So it can special summon an Insector from the graveyard, which we're going to pick Dragonfly. So we're going to search for another sword. We're using Centipede's effect to add to our hand. And then Insector Dragonfly got special summoned from the Gigamantis. We'll equip Dragonfly with the new sword we just searched out. We'll use her effect to equip Hornet from the graveyard and use Hornet to destroy the sword. 
Now she gets a special summon twice. Again, she lost two equips. Sorry, this is what the field looks like. Um, something to keep in mind for new players is when a monster leaves the field and comes back, it's considered a new monster. So we were allowed to use Insector Dragonfly's effect again. Sword got sent to our graveyard. So we're going to add Gigamantis back to our hand. Because when Sword sent to the field of the graveyard, it adds Insector back to our hand from the graveyard. We'll use Ladybug's effect to equip Hornet. We'll blow up their monster, or if they have another spell and trap, or just whatever you need to do. We'll equip from our hand with Ladybug with Gigamantis. We'll use Centipede's effect to equip Hornet. So, as you can see, that's going to be game. Now, an interesting thing about Insectors, though, is that we could actually use Revival Effects and extend our combo of Destruction. This is useful for putting on something like 4 back row a monster. So, in this scenario, we did the, our combo above, but we had a Spell and Trap set. We'll make Giga Brilliant, Detach Dragonfly, and if our face down is called Haunted, we can bring back the Dragonfly and just keep the combo going again. There's different stra insector strategies, there's a lot, there's this. Um, recently there was a Verdict Sanctuary and how the insect combo that went undefeated in a regional. I don't know how to feel about that, but that it's there. And you got to be creative sometimes to get your combo working. You're not always going to have the most optimal hands. So, for example, if you you could normal summon insector centipede, and if you didn't have a monster that would detach, um, insector centipede and dragonfly can be equipped into other insectors, but they can't detach themselves. So if you equip Centipede with Centipede, that's not going to do so much because you can't detach the Centipede unless you have something like Mystical Space Typhoon. So we could equip a sword even if we didn't have an insector or had no reason to except for just to search. We'll blow up the sword with Mystical Space Typhoon. This is going to trigger Centipede and his searching effect and we could add Hornet to our hand and then we could use his effect because we haven't used his effect yet to equip Hornet and blow something up your opponent controls or if our opponent didn't control anything instead we could add Dragonfly I'm um, sorry we could add Ladybug to our hand use his effect equip Ladybug detach Ladybug increase his level by one to level four and then we can search out Dragonfly and add it to our hand so we're just really trying to get the pieces We're going to use draw power to get pieces. As you can see, I'm a big OTK deck fan, so Karkar Depotuality. This de deck takes a lot of skill. Like, a lot of people will say Insectors takes no skill. I think Insectors is one of the most skillful decks I've ever played. If our opponent controls Shadow and Prison Mirror, for example, and a, something like Blue Eyes White Dragon, uh, we could double summon a Centipede, use Call of the Haunted, bring back something like Centipede. Exes and wind up Zen mains. Attack into the Blue Eyes or Dragon, detach to save Zen Mains, and then on the end, end phase we can get Zen Mains to destroy Shadow and Prisoning Mirror. So, thank you for watching. I hope this really helped you out with Insectors and learning how to play. And what deck should I do next? And yes, I'm well aware it's one of the longer videos. This was like 153 slides of animation. Usually, my other ones are like 30, so. See you later, guys.